Good morning YouTube, uh, we're back again. With another Spot the Difference competition. Um, no prizes other than if you get them all right, give yourself a pat on the back, go and have another cup of tea to celebrate. Other than that, it's just a bit of fun. So here we go, same format. You're going to have 45 seconds plus this time that I'm waffling about to have a look at the car, see if you could identify. We've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine differences to the standard car. Can you find them? So I'll give you 45 seconds, study the picture, make a note, and then I'll come back and I'll reveal all the changes. Can you get them all? Good luck. Your time starts now. How did you get on? The 911, this is a 996. It's an iconic car. And really, if you are a 911 fan, you should have no excuses to get all of these right. So let's start off. Some of them are really subtle. Um, and forgive me if you can't see it clear enough, you're looking on your mobile phone, you can't see it, then, you know, next time when we do another one, do it on a desktop. There you go. Okay, right, here we go. Number one is the indicator. It's a fake indicator. 911 doesn't have one. So if you spotted that one, well done. That's number one. Number two. The bottom skirt deflector here for the mud deflector for the rear wheel is much bigger. It should really be this size, much more elegant. If you spotted that one, well done. Number three. The position of the door. I mean, that is a ridiculously tiny door, um, but sometimes you just don't, don't notice these things. That's the right position, so number three, door line's in the wrong position. Okay, number four, it's the door handle. Um, I think that one's off a Triumph or, or something. It's a really old school sort of 70s door handle. That's the right one. If you spotted the wrong door handle, congratulations, you nerd. Uh, right, next one. Now this one you might not see because your phone, you have to look to the back of the car, look at the badge, it actually says KN, obviously it's not a KN, it should be Carrera, so if you spotted that one, well done. Right, here we go, four to go. Rear bumper, this uh, natty little side vent is fake, so if you spotted that one, well done. Three to go. The actual cover for the roof has been extended that's how it should look if you look on the roof here that's how it should be that's fake I mean, if you had a speedster that does have two humps behind it it does sort of come up a little bit further um, but that's how it should be so if you spotted that one well done two left on the back bumper again exhaust pipes um, these pipes are they're I think they're from a, an Audi R8 actually but we put those back, that's how they should be out the bottom. Two nice chrome pipes out the bottom, not those ones. So if you spotted that one, well done. So here we go, last one. If you look here at this fuel cap, do you notice anything wrong with the fuel cap? Well, it shouldn't be there. It should actually be on the front wing. First time I went to fill up a 911, I pulled up to the garage. I would checked on both rear wings to find out where the fuel filler cap was. And it uh, looked a bit of a twit when I had to go back in and reverse the car because it's on the front wing. But there we go. So here we are, total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine differences. If you got nine, well done. If you got one, 
call yourself a car fan? Anyway, we'll do another one. Maybe next month, next week, who knows? You just have to keep coming back and find out when's there. But if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified every time we put something up. Which I know isn't often, but there we are. Enjoy your weekend.